Hey, welcome to Universal Studios Hollywood. We are on the back lot right now at New York Street, and it's always been a dream of mine ever since I was a tour guide here to come back here and be a director on the back lot. So what we're doing behind us here is we're gonna blow out four windows with an air cannon just like that. Although tomorrow the air cannon is gonna be full of propane and there's gonna be a giant fireball chasing a stuntman out the window. So the stuntman's okay, gonna fly. Okay, we're gonna go hard on this next one. Very good. What are we expecting, Neil? How big? 30 feet, Are you going full pressure? No. Okay. I want to work up to what we, you know. All right. What's your pressure that you're putting in? I'm going to start at 35. 35. Okay. So that's Neil Smith. He's our effects guy. Neil goes all the way back. He was a special effects foreman on Back to the Future. All right, Neil, we are rolling. Three, two, one. Hey, so we're in the building now. We're going to go up to the third floor to see Neil Smith and talk about this tester. Watch your step. It gets dark in here. So the nice thing is about these facades that they built in Universal Studios now is that they're all practical. They have practical interiors, so we can dress the inside, so we can shoot out the windows if we want to, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Before, before the back lot burned down, these were just facades. They had no room inside. So now we added all this room inside so that we could set up practical stunts like what we're doing and dress it and the buildings to look on the outside of the windows as well. So, I mean, the thing is, we can go bigger if you think you need bigger. If we can just have it a little more straight than up, I think that'd be great. All right, well, we'll, we'll angle it a little bit flatter okay. on this next one. All right, perfect. All right, but this, okay, it's going to take me a while to, right. to set this next one up. Yeah, because we've got to put the window in. I'm being a brag, but I got that one time. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Hello, hello, yes it is. Hey everybody, good morning, good morning, good morning. We've had a tremendous amount of preparation on this. Um, 20 meetings, uh, rehearsal, stunt rehearsal, camera rehearsal, camera tests. I mean, a lot goes into this that you just normal people wouldn't see. It's amazing. We have about 100 people involved in making this shot happen. Just to give you a couple of key players to introduce, this is Tony Snegoff, he is our stunt coordinator. Oh yeah. This is Tommy Primo, he is our, uh, our crazy man today. Neil Smith, who is our special effects coordinator. And supervisor, he's the one who's gonna be giving us some heat later. Eric Curtis, say hi Eric. He is our still photographer today. And then Joth Riggs, who is our, our AD. So we're gonna have a real quick safety meeting. I'm gonna turn it over to Joth. I need all buddy, everybody to have ears on this, okay? Super, super important. So here you go, Joth Riggs, our first assistant director. It's my job to kind of keep things rolling, keep everybody moving, make sure everybody's got what they need to be able to just facilitate getting the director what he needs to get his vision on the screen. So try and make it happen. Joth and I have been working together for many years, and uh, this is, I don't know, I don't know how many shows we've done, but a few. Several. Yeah, so uh, so what's it like for you to do a show like this on the Universal Backlot? This is fun, I mean, this is this is why we get into the business to begin with, is to do something like this. And, you know, it's amazing with, you know, as much history as there is here to, to just be on the same lot that they've made you know, epic films of yesteryear, and it's, uh, it's exciting to be here and doing some fun stuff, and stunts and explosions and all the stuff you imagine you want to do when you think I want to make movies. For crying out loud, we're in the middle of Universal Studios on the back lot. How cool is that? Right? And we get to blow stuff up. Yeah. You don't hear any better than that. So good morning. Let's have some fun. If you guys haven't filled out your paperwork yet, let's make sure we do that back over there, okay? So thank you everybody. We'll get thank with you, you soon. I'm Tony Snegoff. I'm the stunt coordinator of this show that we've got here today. And what we're doing is uh, I have uh, Tommy, my stunt guy. He's going to come out the third floor window up here. The whole corner is going to be an explosion, a big ball of fire. He's going to come through that. The windows are going to blow out. He's going to come down here and land in the airbag. Dummy? Yeah. Stop dummy. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your, what's your pre-game uh, pre routine here? What do you usually do to warm up? Um, I stretch out. You know, do the normal stretch, uh, martial arts stuff, and uh, and then visualize it. You know, you kind of, mentally you have to to know what's happening at the finished product, um, and then you just jump. 
and just and jump. Bottom line, jump. Let gravity take over. Yeah. Let physics do its thing. Now you're you're a martial arts. Uh, you're experienced yes. in martial yeah. arts. What's yeah. your history there? His, I got 20 years in martial arts. I'm a second degree black belt. In what art? Um, taekwondo, Mudokwan. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. And what other kind of stuff do you do? I do gymnastics. To I mean, just stunt work alone is uh, is a workout. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, now, you don't just jump out windows. What else do you do stunt lines? I, I specialize in fire burns, light myself on fire. Um, that's one one gift that I have, and then I do... A gift. Car, I have the gift car. of lighting myself on fire. <laughs> yeah, I do, you know, like uh, precision driving to to high falls, what we're doing today. Very good. So, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, all around stunt guy. Well, we're going uh, to blow him up later, so stick around. We're gonna blow me up. What? Wait, you didn't? Okay, we gotta talk. I didn't get the men. These are stunt chairs. These chairs, watch this. Watch. Ready? So now, the difference is the stunt chair, this is not a stunt chair. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, these are rental stunt chairs. Sorry. That's lost in damage right there. Can I get your name? Frank, serial number. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. Woo! This is David Miller. David and I have been working together, boy. Long time. Long time. Long time. David is now the, what, Senior Vice President of yeah. Universal Studios Hollywood Marketing. And congratulations, by thank the way. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So David and I have had fun shooting these promos and publicity shoots for many, many years since I was a tour guy. Great director, great director. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're gonna go sit him in the shot, keeping with tradition, uh, where we sit next to each other in these shots and we yell action. And he says, it's really good, and then we go have lunch. So yeah, it's pretty yeah. awesome, yeah. So, cool. Come on in. David Miller. Oh, hi. Good to see you again. How are you? Good. This is Sharon Witt, production coordinator. Nice to meet you. So let's put you where we can see you. All right. There you go. Perfect. I'll be here doing my thing. Hey! So we're here? Good? Okay, guys, everybody on the tram, thank you for your patience. One thing about filmmaking is it's hurry up and wait. <laughs> hurry up and wait. You guys know this. Yeah. You guys know this. All right, here we go, guys. Ready? All right. And we're rolling, we're rolling, everybody's looking, everybody's looking. Oh my gosh, what's about to happen? And we're rolling, and boom! Good, 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 okay, all right. So, one, two, three, action. One, two, three, action. Thank you. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, I hate to say it, I'm gonna go back to where we were. All right guys, here we go, this is picture. Stand by and action! Look at that. Nice. Look at that. Right there, yeah. Oh, man. Tommy, that's fantastic. And you're flailing the whole time. Just nail it, dude. So we're putting on a fire retardant gel. And it's covering everything exposed. So you don't get burned? Yep. <laughs> what does it do? Like, does it make you feel hot or cold? Cold. Really cold? It keeps, you, keeps your skin nice and cold and allows you not to get burned. 
So let's all be prepared and be ready. All right, people. I hope you enjoy. Good luck. Left hand, Veronica, little, little neck on his left hand. She's grabbing herself. Hey, uh, can we? Thank you, Hale. Is it good? Yeah, how's your hand? Just Bobby, sit, sit down right behind you. Right here. Sorry. What is that, apple box? Okay, I'm gonna put water over. Okay. You tell us when we can clean up. Get some heat, Tom. Yeah. Are you done cleaning the window sills? Break anything? No. Okay. Give me again. Your fingers are all right. Yep. I'm gonna need that for his hand as well. Okay. I'm just doing a little bit. Okay. Put some water to pour on it. I got it. Got it. Probably looking at you. Hey, Kiernan, what did you think? Awesome. What do you think? It was it was it was fire. It was hot. It was cool. It was so cool. because of all the fire, it was very warm. It was hot. It was hot. It was hot. The glass came probably like right here. The glass hit my arm. Tommy, you all good, man? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna watch David liked it. David's leaving, he would like to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. You good? Yeah, good, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. No, no, no. Beautiful. Cool. <laughs> he, 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 he said that. you were the best, and you are. <laughs> thank you. He totally disappeared. Oh my goodness, that's a massive fireball. When you're sitting there, you don't realize what it looks like from back here. He just gets enveloped. Yeah. Holy cow. And the video one I got was like, okay, like he came out of the and then I mean, think out. about this, okay? We're feeling heat down here. What do you think he's feeling in the middle of it? He looks at me and he's so cool and he's so calm and he's like, that was a little hot. <laughs> he's, he's picking glass, glass out of his, his retinas, you know? Are you happy with how things turned out? Well, Rick, it's always, always a pleasure to go blow stuff up with you! <laughs> Tommy, man, he impressed today. Oh my Tommy God. Primo is Primo. <laughs> primo stunts. Even the first time he jumped, the test jumps, when he started flailing and everything else, I mean, you could just tell he was on his game. And man, he just upped it, upped it, upped it. When he went through the glass, he's going blind. He can't see below him. I mean, wow. it's like, you know, one thing to sit on a ledge and look down at the bag and okay, okay, I'm going to go right there. It's another thing entirely to step back 15 feet and go, I'm going straight through that glass and I'm just trusting that the physics are going to work out and my plan is going to work out and the coordination is going to work out. I mean, Tony Snegoff, he came and coordinated this whole thing and he's just a total pro. His resume is like 10 pages long and all his guys came and man, they just nailed it. I mean, they nailed it, every single one of them. And Neil Smith on the effects. How did it go from your perspective today? Oh, it went really well. Everything, uh, because we we did a test day and everybody had expectations of what it was going to look like and it wasn't like everybody was nervous seeing it for the first time. We kind of had a really good idea. And that's really the proper way to always do, especially big, <laughs> big fire gags, that if, we, if it's at all possible to do the test, we, we want to do that. And, and I think that's that has contributed to the success yeah, is, yeah. is testing. Well, and, and your years of experience and goodwill and knowledge and all the rest of it. I, I appreciate all the work you've put in on it. Well, you went great. I'm very pleased. You're very welcome. Very pleased. Thank you, sir. It's okay. a pleasure working with you. Yeah. Absolutely. Neil Smith, he did the Back to the Future special effects. He was the guy who like rigged up Bob Yerkes, right? To oh, yeah. slide for life on Back to the Future as Doc Brown when the lightning hit. I mean, oh my gosh, these people. Hey. 
Well, I mean, hey, man of the hour, man of the hour. What's Are you all right? Can I put my armor on you without yeah. parts falling off? Yeah. You're doing good. Okay. Uh, this is Tyler. We were just yeah. talking about you. So you got my ears are ringing. You got a little piece of glass still on there. So yeah, your ears are ringing. So <laughs> tell 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 us about it. How did it go for you? My gosh, it was, was awesome. Amazing. It was awesome. You know, we 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 plan for it. We do what we do. And uh, with a great stunt coordinator, everything happens right. So what's the environment like on there? I mean, I, I never got a chance to go up there when it went off, right? Because I'm directly down here. But what's it like for you? Well, the explosion, as you guys felt it down below, I mean, it's it's three times as worse up there. So and you guys, and, let me say something about that. You, we were, uh, well, you guys, I don't know, you're over 100 feet away. Let's at least say that. And I know you felt it. At least I felt it. And it wasn't like, oh, yeah, I felt that. No, it was very warm, ten times. For that. I was yeah. in that little that ball, that ball of flame. I was in that. <laughs> yeah. Do you have your eyes closed when you're in that? Yes. Yeah. Hold yeah. your breath. Eyes closed. So you're just taking it on faith all the way down yeah. until you hit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> good job, buddy. Thanks. Really, really good job. Seriously, man. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Proud of both of you guys. Thank Very you. pleased to work with you. Thank, thank you, guys. I'm gonna go to craft service. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Tom. Oh my gosh, what a day. Um, you know, when I was a tour guide here in 1991, I always said to myself, someday I want to come back and shoot on this lot as a director. So to be able to come back and not just blow it up once, like you did four years ago with the fireball, but blow it up twice, in this building where they shot the sting and Back to the Future is like one block over, yeah, I'm, I'm a happy camper right now. So, huh. We'll go look at the footage, and the client's happy, and I think we can all sleep well tonight knowing we did a good job. So thank you, everybody who was involved. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys, as they said when I was a tour guide. We'll see you in the movies.